and you're driving the truck? Yes, ma'am. Okay, but you have not made a single payment, right? No, ma'am. So you know why you're here. You know why you're here. Oh, absolutely. Easy. What is your defense to not making payments on this man's truck? Well, um, he understood that my situation at the time was very difficult. Um, what I do you mean the, by that? Well, I was in the process of having a family. I got three boys at home. I'm doing the best I can as a, as a dad to provide, and I'm struggling. So you're saying that he knew when he sold this truck to you that you may not make the $250 payment, he was but very you guys clear made that, that agreement anyway? Is that true, that you knew he was struggling and he may not make the payments, but you said it's okay, do the best you can? No. And the best you, the best you could, can do, you're telling me, is zero money right now? In my defense, I was, I was tight. So from that day to this day, you didn't have twenty dollars you can give him for his truck. I did not fifty dollars. I didn't attempt to. Absolutely. How do you attempt to? Please tell I, me. I love when people come in and tell me they attempt to give other people money because I, I, I wish people would attempt to give me money. <laughs> so tell me how you attempted to pay the plaintiff for his truck. Well, I do have a, a check here. It's not a large amount. But I did make an attempt. What do you mean not a large amount? How much is it for? Uh, for 150 bucks. Why do you have a check for 150 dollars? Uh, because Darren, my brother, was was the middle guy. I had to go through my brother to relay any kind of message or any kind of phone call. Well, you didn't have to. You well, didn't have I didn't to. have Fred's number. You, you, you don't know how to look him up? Y'all in a small town, Minnesota. You don't think you can find Fred? We're in two you different towns. You don't think you can find Fred? Ma'am, we're in, two, in, in Minnesota. We're two and a half hours away from each other. Doesn't matter. You don't think you can find him? You, you have his truck. You're driving his truck. I... You giving me all these excuses. You know what this is? Yes, That's me playing the world's smallest violin for you. Because you're giving me all these excuses that don't make any sense. part of your wife. Think the stomach before you speak. Sometimes it's best just not to know nothing. Weeknights at 6.30 and 7 on My 9.